What's going on guys and thank you once again for tuning in to Raw 411 with Chris Chaos. Now we got a lot to get to and again I'm going to try to get to everything in under 5 minutes so let's see how I can do. Uh, Monday Night Raw starts off with the Remembrance Package of 9-11 and 9-13 uh, uh, showing how WWE was the first public assembly or whatever blah blah blah. They never get the recognition they deserve and I hate it. Uh, Lillian Garcia, beautiful be Lillian is one of the only people, and that list ain't long, probably about three or four, that when they sing, even just watching on TV can bring tears to my eyes. And when she sings the national anthem, that's one of the things that can bring tears. And it did. And, and she said, and our flag's still there. And she pointed up. And I, point, I pointed, and then I looked, and she was pointing, and I was just like, that's where it is. And the tears started rolling, and everybody at USA... Great. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, now we move on into The Rock. Uh, Rock comes out. Does the Pledge of Allegiance. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty That was, that was was pretty good. I'll give him that one. I, I like that one. Uh, did, did everybody catch the, uh, the King Kong Bundy reference there? That was, that was phenomenal. I love that. Uh, anyway, you got uh, Cole... <laughs> Go get some messages from the general manager, the anonymous general manager, who we all know who that is. And he, uh, he, uh, he's got on a KG shirt, or a jersey, excuse me. And remember, guys, it's all about Banner 18. Now, uh, I, I just want to say th this segment between him and The Rock got kind of boring, got kind of stale real quick. Uh, Rock Bottom ends it. Pitbull comes out, starts gibbering in Spanish. Uh, thought I hit my SAP button. Thought I hit it again when Alberto was out there talking in Spanish. Talking English! Damn it. Uh, Truth Jumps. I'm not going to mention those other two jabronis from the Miami Heat to give that shout out. Truth jumps Jomo. Uh, Jomo can't feel his arm and his hand or whatever. Uh, Jomo is going to be on the sidelines for a couple of months. You can guarantee that. Uh, Kelly Kelly versus Maurice and Karma comes out. Totally saw that coming. I didn't get a chance to tweet it before I saw it coming because it happened so fast. Uh, but it was great. Expect big things from Karma. I'm telling you. And you, and you, you haters. God, I, you gotta calm down on Karma. I'm telling you. You're starting to start. You're starting to hate her like you're hating Cena. Give her time. Give this time to play out. Okay. Cena, fine. If you want to hate Cena, fine. Whatever. You've given him enough chances and enough time to play out. Give this a couple of months to play out and let's see how it goes before you start talking about how horrible she is. Okay. Or do your research and learn how good she really is. There's my rant. Um, I'm pretty upset there's only a couple of minutes, if that, of wrestling up to the hour point. And then you get Cena and Miz, who have a damn good match and a great finish. Why was it a great finish? Because you didn't see it coming. And because people were pissed off about it. That's why it was... But people weren't pissed off... In a bad way, they were pissed off, and you got a good pissed off reaction, so that's why it worked. Think about it, and then ask me why, and I'll do another video and explain when I have more time. Uh, Rey Mysterio uh, and Kofi Kingston versus Swagger and McIntyre. Crowd was kind of dead for most of this because they popped so much for Cena and The Miz. And that match had so much drama, and the crowd was up and down, and up and down, and up and down, like just just like you're flicking off an, a light switch. It was it was fantastic. Kane and Mason Ryan did the whole main eventing raw, if you want to call it that, and then they're building Ryan up. He beat on Kane, and then he speared the Big Show out of his boots. Uh, very nice. Now, then you go on to The Rock coming back out. Vince makes an appearance, which nobody expected, I imagine. And then there was a video package, boo-boo, boo-hoo, tears, tears. And then uh, Maya, Maya comes out of all people and sings Happy Birthday to the Rock. Uh, quick note to Maya, I love you, by the way. You're still beautiful and gorgeous. I would still hit that, by the way. And not only hit that, I, I would make you a wifey. But the if you're going to sing, when you, when you sing and you invite people to join in, don't blow them out of the water. Come on now. You should know better than that. 
you know can't nobody hardly, especially probably nobody in the crowd can compete with you. Anyway, uh, five minutes, there it is. Uh, the only thing left I've got to say is it was just a little bit too much for The Rock. For a guy that's not going to be there next week or probably a couple of months from now, he'll probably make a sporadic appearances between now and WrestleMania next year. But to put that much emphasis on a guy that's not even going to be there in a couple of months, for a couple of months, it's kind of a waste of a Raw. A lot of wasted, a lot of wasted time. A lot of wasted time. Hate if you're going to. Hate me if you're going to. Don't put that much time into The Rock. I know he's giving you so many years of great. That's fine. There's a right time and a wrong time to do things. And y'all waited way too long to give Rock all this props. After he's been gone for so many years. And the fact that... You know, you're, you're taking away precious TV time from other people that should be getting it. <coughs> Zack Ryder! <coughs> anyway. Oh, and by the way, woo woo woo, you know it. Uh, I'm going to say deuces. Everybody knows this is starting to catch on again. It started catching on because chaos started it again. I restarted the trend. <laughs>